At the end of my last video, I said I was going to uh, talk a little bit about heat treat and tell you about my heat treat. Well, I decided what, I, what I'll do instead is I'll run a little experiment. This is akin to what is known as the Metcalf experiment. And uh, from that, you can draw your own conclusions. Um, so, with that, watch the video, enjoy. Hopefully you'll learn something. Uh, I conducted this experiment uh, quite a while back. And periodically I check it every now and again just to make sure that things are sort of on song for me. Uh, in this video I'm not going to go into the tempering aspect, just going to go into the hard and inside of O1 tool steel. So thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoy the video. Five pieces of new O1 tool steel were prepared and marked with file grooves to identify them. In this instance, the steel was 4mm thick. The oil was pre-warmed to 50 degrees centigrade, 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Also the kiln was preheated to the target temperature. The first piece was placed centrally in the kiln and allowed to soak for 10 minutes. There was no preheat. The pieces were immediately quenched and removed from the oil when they were approximately 50 degrees centigrade, 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Excess oil was removed. Next, each piece was cleaned up, firstly on a 120 grit belt, and then finished on a worn 220. Three careful measurements of each piece were made, and the average taken. Here are the pieces. If you look carefully, you can just see the identification notches on the left of each piece and the Rockwell indents. Next, each piece was snapped so the grain structure could be viewed. And here are the five pieces again, this time snapped. The grain structure of all five pieces appeared to be quite fine to the naked eye. However, piece five had the coarsest grain and piece number three snapped the cleanest and appears to have the smoothest grain structure. This was confirmed under a magnifier. All pieces were soaked for 10 minutes at their respective temperatures.
In conclusion, the Holy Grail temperature appears to lie between 800 and 810 degrees centigrade.